Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like every time I have a hiatus, I come back and I have this like new life change. <laughs> um, but recently we sold our house and bought a new house. And so this is going to be an empty home tour, which I have never done. Just got the keys today and I wanted to go ahead and film this before we started moving anything in. Um, just so you get like a raw, this is what it is. I haven't even started cleaning anything in here. But before we get into that, if you would please hit the subscribe button. So we'll have a lot of home content coming soon. Some cleaning, maybe a little bit of, I don't know if I'll show any like moving because I've kind of packed everything already. Um, but cleaning, decorating, organizing, all that stuff for this house. Um, so if you like the type of content, then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and let's get started. I'm also filming this on my phone because I can't find a charger for my vlog camera and there's no furniture in here so it might be a little echoey but this is the stand in the front door little alleyway. Um, so this is a model home that is like two years old but no one's ever lived in it. So it has a lot of the upgrades that they like to put in the model homes, which I absolutely love. <laughs> um, so coming uh, to the right, when you come in the front door, this will be the office. And the whole house has those plantation shutters, which ideally, like they, they sound great ideally, but they actually don't let in that much light. And then when you open them, they're kind of just like in the way. So we may take a few of them down. Um, but this is the office and we plan to get like a sliding barn door right there, which would be kind of massive, but that way my husband who works from home can have some more privacy. And then here is a half bath, which has, I love all of like the black hardware that they did throughout the entire house. And then this mirror is insane. It's like a full length mirror they put. <laughs> Um, so probably do some type of little storage there and whatnot. And then just a storage closet here. So probably just a coat closet. And then continuing down the hallway when you come in the front door, this is just like the entire living space. Um, so this area we want to turn into like a coffee bar focus there we go so we want to turn this area into a coffee bar and have like a very long buffet right there and then we can have a coffee bar slash like keep our wine and other alcohol over there so this is the kitchen it has a really large island um, it has a lot of cabinetry i love the white the pop of gray on the island and i love this hardware and all of these are soft shut, which is nice, but the doors are also soft shut as well, which is amazing because if you have uh, a husband or kids, you know that they can be a little loud when they're closing doors. <laughs> um, this is the oven and it has a uh, stove oven. It has a griddle, which is pretty nice. I like that blue backsplash they did. Um, this is the other side of the island. So dishwasher, all of that. I like the stainless steel sink and it's huge. And I like that they offset the drain, which is a small thing, but if you know, you know. And this is, I guess like what we'll use as a drop zone. So probably just get a bench right here and some baskets to put shoes. This is the pantry. It's a good size. I don't really know why they did like such square cutouts because it kind of limits what you can do it's like very compartmentalized but it's going to make going to make it work it's plenty of space and then out here is just the garage our last house the garage was not attached and it wasn't finished so i'm very excited to be able to put like a refrigerator here and then have some storage for other things and then coming back into the living room this is the living space. There's a massive ceiling fan. It has like 45 blades on it. The ship lab. I love the color of these floors. So our last house had really dark wood floors. And I liked that until I noticed how 
dirty they would look <laughs> very easily. So it's, I like this nice neutral brown. Um, love this light fixture in the Eden kitchen. So we'll have to get, this will be like our dining area. So we'll have to get a new table because the one we have is kind of small. Um, so maybe a long rectangular table with a bench and then maybe a buffet on that back wall there. And then this is like one of the stars of the show. So these sliding doors that open up and that really nice covered patio out there. And it has like a ceiling fan and then it has this pendant light. So maybe dining set will go here and then like couch and stuff will go there. Um, and that's the backyard. One of the things that we really liked about this house is that the master bedroom is on the first floor, but coming off of the kitchen, you have the laundry room here, which I wish, I don't know why they didn't do some type of built-in somewhere, especially since it was the model home. I guess they were just like, we did enough upgrades. So we'll probably need some type of table-ish table -ish stuff here or some floating shelves, washer dryer, go here and then this goes into the master closet and try to get you a good view it's not terrible i mean it'll be plenty of you know storage for us but this would be my husband's side because he doesn't need as much <laughs> and then this will be my side so i do like that it's not that standard wire shelving probably need a little bit more space for shoes but Lots of hanging stuff there. And then there's this weird, I think if you would have, if building the house, you have the option to make the office a full uh, bedroom. And then this would be the closet for the off, for that bedroom. So it's literally just like another closet. But I think I'm gonna set up my like vanity in here <laughs> and my makeup and it'll be a nice place to store it all. And maybe if I can get a you know a better light in there, then I could actually like film in there if I need to and then just shut the door and it'll be done. All righty, so coming off of the dining area to the right is the laundry room and to the left is the master the bathroom. Bathroom is right here and we'll get to that in a second, but this is the master bedroom, which I love. One, it's on the first floor. Two, it's very bright. I love this cutout here because I want to put like a couch and a table and that way it can just be a chill spot where you don't want to lay on the bed. But the ceiling is vaulted. They have that beautiful chandelier, which I am definitely a ceiling fan girl, especially living in the South, but we'll see how long we um, make that work. <laughs> and then I love these pendant lights right here. So we'll just, I guess use our current lamps in our bedroom somewhere else and you just have these that drop down to go over your nightstand so bed will go there and then dresser tv will be mounted there dresser underneath it and then there's so much more space for like i mean who knows i don't want it to be super cluttered but i just love that window there this is the master bathroom which we traded a tub let me turn um Hold on, let me turn this light. Okay. So we don't have a tub in here. Um, it's just a walk-in shower. There's a light above the shower, but it also turns on the fan. So I just turned it off so you could definitely hear me. But look at this gorgeous shower. It's huge. It has two heads. I love the black hardware. It's completely frameless, which I love. It'll make for a nice cleaning to make it simple. I love the subway tile, it has a bench, and then this, I turned it on earlier, so that's why it's wet, but it has this like really pretty penny tile that I just love, and I can't wait to take showers there. <laughs> and then there's toilet closet, and these are the vanities, so his and her vanities. I'll probably take that one, but I just love those lights there. I love the hardware, I love the color of the cabinets, I love the color of the floor. It's not, like it looks custom. It's not a standard, like one, all one color. And I just think that gives it more character. These mirrors are super cool because they tilt down, which is a little difficult for us because we're really tall, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, and then I don't know why they had this, 
bracket in here for a TV because there's no, I guess you have the option, like if you were building this house, you could put a tub right here and then maybe you could watch TV, but we won't have that. So it is what it is, but we'll get some type of vanity right there um, for storage as well. Coming out of the master bedroom, down the hallway, back towards the front door, we can go up the stairs. So there is no carpet on the stairs, which sounds amazing. And hopefully my son does not learn any like hard lessons <laughs> on these stairs. So right up the stairs to the right here is just a loft area. So this will be the equivalent of like the bonus room in our last house. Last house had a third floor and that was just his room slash a TV room. Um, so this will just have like, we have a love sack sectional, another TV, and then be able to put his toys up here. He can hang out here. We'll put a baby gate there. This is the left side of the stairs. So through here is a hallway. It's a linen closet. So this is the guest bedroom and it has an ensuite. So it'll probably be the in-law suite. So a nice walk-in closet and then this is the bathroom. And once again, I just love the colors that they picked out for the tile. I love the vanity cover color. <laughs> love this mirror that they picked out. It's like round black mirror. So pretty. And they did subway tile here in the bathroom as well. And then coming back out down the hallway here is going to be like my son's wing. <laughs> So you come down this hallway and there are two more bedrooms. So we have this bedroom, which would be another guest bedroom. Not quite as big, but still very good size. And has another walk-in closet. This would be a good filming room too, because it has really good natural light. And then it's not quite a Jack and Jill, but it does have two points of entry. So this is, this will be his room, his bathroom. And I love this tile. And I love that the wash on the cabinets and the countertops. And they did these like custom mirrors and lights. And then his tub, a little bit deeper, but good for, good height for kids. Coming out of the bathrooms, there's another door. There's a door here that you could actually close and then it's like a private bedroom, bathroom. There is this, this will be my son's closet, which will be huge. I could probably put a dresser in there, which would be nice. And then this bedroom is significantly larger than his room currently, which will give him plenty of space to grow. So I'm thinking about potentially doing like a bump bag situation right there. And then a dresser there if I don't put one in the closet and he still has plenty of like room to move and groove. And then one more thing I wanted to show you guys is this space. I don't know what this is if you were building the house, but it's like a weird <laughs> room. It's huge. Like it's too big to be a closet. I guess it could just be storage, but I think it could be a cool little workout room. Or if you needed a second office, I and mean, there's no windows in here, but still it is a large area. Maybe a bedroom, right? <laughs> All right, so that is the entire house. Absolutely love it. Going to get to cleaning. I brought a couple things over myself that I just wanted to move myself, but we'll get to cleaning up a little bit and then we move in two days. So very, very excited. Um, hopefully you can get back in the groove of getting more consistent content, right? Like I always say. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.